True technology. True performance. True coupe. The all-new Nissan Altima Coupe. What's up there, you tech-savvy, on-the-go, mobile phone viewing person? It's me, Chuck Nice, and I'm hitting you upside the head with some quick hits music news. Seems like the record industry has a bit of the post-holiday blues, so we don't have any big new releases for you this week. So how do we kick off the show? Right with a chart check, of course. Bon Jovi slipped from the number one spot all the way down to number three, while Kelly Clarkson's My December moved just under 300,000 copies for the number two spot. And a Maple Leaf person scored the number one spot with Hannah Montana 2 at the top of the heap. All right, enough old men and young ladies. Let's get to the news. According to Lars Ulrich, Metallica has laid down backing tracks for their ninth studio album, is it just me or is it hard to rock out to these guys after watching them in therapy sessions during the filming of Some Kind of Monster? Listen guys, metal bands don't go to therapy. I don't like the way you make me feel. <coughs> Shut up, Lars. While no release date has been announced yet, Duran Duran has let the world know that their new album will be entitled Red Carpet Massacre, which is exactly what will happen if those geezers show up to a premiere without their canes and nurses. Hey, the hair dye ain't fooling anybody, fellas. Super duper producer and collaborator Linda Perry is moving on from Courtney Love to help Alicia Keys with her next album. That's about as drastic a turnaround as I could think of, except the turnaround of Alicia Keys. Cause that ass is banging! Bam! I'm sorry. September will see a handful of releases from Bruce Springsteen, including a new version of The Ghost of Tom Joad, a duet of Hobo's Lullabies with Pete Seeger, and an all-star version of Bring Them Home. Bruce is really a working man's rock star, isn't he? It's a good job. You know, it's a job that can have its... It can, it can be meaningful. You know, it can be meaningful. Huh? Especially if you are... Born in the USA, I went down to the VA man and I didn't need... Who else would you like to see collaborate with Bruce Springsteen? Text me at 5678 and tell me what you think. If I like your answer, I'll put you on the show, and I might just give you a ride in my pink Cadillac. Eddie Vedder will be featured prominently on the soundtrack of Sean Penn's next film, Into the Wild. It's based on the John Krakauer novel, and not only has Eddie penned several original songs for the film, he'll also have a minor role. Wow, I hope he's as good as he was in singles. Cries of sellout have been thrusted upon Sonic Youth for agreeing to record a song for the Starbucks record label. People, people, let it go. Or have you realized that being signed to a major record label named Universal is way more corporate than Starbucks could ever be? So have a soy latte, sit your ass down, and shut up. <laughs> hey, that's it for the Sonic Youth Fan Club speech. And you know what? That's it for our show. We'll see you back here next time, but make sure you drop by and visit our buddy Smalley Biggs and be a true American by casting your vote in the Buzz Band Challenge. God bless each and every one of us. Keep up the beautiful work.